Gas inquiries, can I help you? Gas inquiries, can I help you? Hello, gas inquiries. Gas inquiries, can I help you? Good afternoon, gas inquiries, can I help you? 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 Emergency job request, Mrs. M. E. Jones. What do you do when a gas escape is reported? Good morning, can I help you? Good morning. I've just been shopping in the town and I can smell gas. Where exactly did you smell gas? Outside. It's a simple message, but so important. Whenever a customer reports a smell of gas or any other emergency situation, there is no doubt who is responsible for the report. You are wherever you work in British Gas, and nobody has to be in any doubt what to do. A suspected gas escape takes priority over all other work, whatever you're doing. And the next payment isn't due until the beginning of September, so you are up to date. Thank you very much. That's great. Now, before I forget, the old lady who lives up above me has asked me to say to you that she has got a smell of gas in her front room. A gas escape, right, just one moment. Details must be passed immediately to the emergency control centre. And you must make sure all the correct details are obtained and recorded. Right, um, can you give me the name, please? It's Mrs Harvey. Mrs Harvey, and the address? Uh, mine? No, Mrs Harvey's address. Find out the customer's name, job address, and telephone number. Use specific questions to get the account address if it's different from the job address, and the name of the person reporting the escape if it's different from the customer's name. A job description can also be very important, so ask for all details. Accurate information is important. Whether you're on the telephone or elsewhere, like customer service centres or showrooms, continue to establish the details first. Where's the gas smell most noticeable? You need to find out where the smell of gas is most noticeable. When was the smell of gas first noticed? Discover if any neighbours are affected too. And if there's any smell of gas outside the affected premises. Safety is the most important consideration. It must take priority. Questioning must cover the points relating to the safety of people and then the property. And have you turned the gas off at the meter? I don't know. Can you hang on a minute and I'll just go and have a look? Question the person reporting the escape to find out if the meter or emergency control has been turned off. If not, instruct them to do this immediately and not to turn it on again until the escape has been repaired. If it has already been turned off, ask if they can still smell gas. In addition, ask if there are any special instructions or circumstances, such as handicapped or elderly people at the address, or any special access instructions. And you must also know what advice to give. Hello. Can you tell me where the switch is? Right, there's a large handle on the side of the meter on the pipe. If you can turn the handle, then the gas will go off. Oh, yes, I, I think I've turned that one off, the big handle. Can you smell the gas now? I don't think so. Right, just keep the gas turned off. Also, I have to advise you to extinguish any naked lights and don't operate any electrical switches. You can also ventilate the property and open windows and doors, and we'll get the emergency out there as soon as we can for you. The advice to the customer should be to turn off the meter control tap and not to turn it on again until any escape has been repaired. Extinguish all naked flames. Ventilate the premises by opening doors and windows and not to operate any electrical switches, either on or off. Tell the customer that immediate access is required. Appointments or delayed visits must not be arranged with customers and it must be made clear to anyone reporting an emergency situation that British Gas will respond as quickly as possible and that access, where appropriate, must be provided. 
Any suspected escapes have to be reported to the emergency control center immediately. They take precedence over all other work, and there is a priority of action. First, we have to safeguard life, then safeguard property, find and secure the escape, and carry out a final investigation on site. Gas emergency is a 24 hours a day service. Any time, anywhere, day or night, we must be ready to respond to a suspected gas escape. Everybody working in the company has the responsibility of knowing what procedure to follow. On a district, for instance, technical personnel carrying out their normal work may become aware of a gas or other emergency. They are trained to deal with these and know what to do. It's essential you know what to do too, should such a situation arise. The information you receive and pass to the emergency control center will classify the type of emergency and determine its priority. It's outside Additionally, the information will greatly assist the highly trained customer service and distribution craftsmen to deal with the emergency and bring it to a fast and satisfactory conclusion. Therefore, speed and accuracy of information is essential before any investigation can be carried out by an emergency team. Have you actually switched the gas meter off? Anybody receiving a gas escape report must record three more things. One, the date the report is received. Two, the time it's received, working on the 24-hour clock. And three, the name or identity number of the person receiving the report, you. Listen, I'm running out of time and I've got no 10 p's left. Could I have your number? I'll ring you back immediately. If the report comes from a customer in a call box, the number of a call box should be obtained and the customer advised that they will be phoned back immediately they're cut off. Yeah, hello. Remember that all reverse charge calls must be accepted. The customer may be reporting a gas escape. The cost of accepting a call is negligible compared with our obligations for safety and safeguarding of life and property. Every year, British Gas receives almost 2.2 million emergency calls. Even calls which turn out to be false alarms are welcome in the interests of safety. Rather, the inconvenience of a false alarm than the prospect of a tragedy. We are all involved. From accounts clerk to showroom staff. And any call outs or any parts. So this three star plan then covers the whole system, does it? Yes, so the only thing to know is just decide when you'd like the engineer to call. Mm, well, um, Thursday would be fine. While he's there, do you think he could sort out a smell of gas I've got coming from my boiler? Oh, yes. Um, can you smell gas all the time? Yes, I can. From delivery driver to meter readers. And how long have you been smelling gas? Since we had a, a flood about three or four months ago. And whatever your department, whatever your normal work, you may become aware of a gas escape or emergency. Don't think it doesn't affect you. From staff in service centres or in showrooms to staff in headquarters, we all have to be aware. That means all of us. If you are dealing with correspondence, you should read all incoming customers' letters through in case they directly or indirectly indicate a gas escape. Also, I would ask you to please check my gas cooker as it seems to be leaking gas. There's an awful smell of gas all over my kitchen. All relevant details must immediately be recorded and the details passed to the emergency control center, while the date and time the report was raised must be recorded on the customer's letter. Accurate information is important from everyone. Are you sure you know all the details? These are the vital points to establish. Customer's name, job address and telephone number. Account address if different from above. Name of person reporting escape if different from customers. Job description. Where is the smell of gas most noticeable? When was the smell of gas first noticed? Are your neighbors affected? Any smell of gas outside the premises? Is the meter emergency control turned off? If yes, can you still smell gas? Any special instructions or circumstances? Any special access instructions? 
Turn off meter emergency control. Extinguish all naked flames, ventilate premises, do not operate electrical switches on or off. Immediate access is required. British gas will respond as quickly as possible. All escapes should be reported immediately to the emergency control centre. Gas in safe hands, in your hands. Remember, the details of any suspected gas emergency must be conveyed immediately to the emergency control centre so that it can be dealt with quickly. To help you, a plastic card with telephone numbers, questioning format and advice to the customer will be given to you after this video programme.